Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Stefan Heine, the head of testing for automated indoor braking. Hi, Stefan. Hi. Really impressive, this new automated indoor braking that you have. And from what I understand, it's the first in the world. Exactly. It's a unique uh, testing device, a new and unique testing facility. It's the first in the world. And in this testing facility, we are now independent from any weather conditions. There are many influencing parameters when you're testing outdoor. <clears throat> it's not the rusty rail, but it's uh, basically the temperature change you have outdoor. And um, the development of the surface, when you're using 100,000 times the same surface, um, and uh, the surface um, is under sunshine and the wind conditions are changing, yeah, these are the influencing parameters which influence the tire performance. So they have, can, could have uh, huge trends and uh, big variations outdoor and indoor. Under control conditions, you do not have it anymore. So that's a big advantage. And at first you thought about maybe putting a tent up or something so that you would have some something mm -hmm. that gave you some consistent testing. Yeah, we want, to protect, we want to protect the surface against wind and rain and sunshine. But uh, our standard tracks, outdoor tracks, are more than 800 meters long, and it uh, would be a huge tent, so it's impossible to realize that. And the reason this is so important is because now this means that you can actually put the grade on here yourself from the ISO, and it will actually be more consistent and more precise than if they were doing it outside. We are accredited by an ISO standard, um, to do this wet braking tests outdoor, but it's more precise and especially more independent from the weather conditions when we are testing inside, indoor. And you've even said that uh, car manufacturers have noticed how important this is for braking and have asked you to test some of their braking systems as well. Yeah, they're very interested, of course. So is Conti looking at developing uh, this same building and replicating it maybe in the United States or Asia somewhere? Not yet. Stefan, vielen Dank. Thank you.